Hello everyone, it's Barbara. Welcome to Pick a Stack Wednesday. We're starting off with some golden singing bell. To charge up the crystals, the cards, me and everyone watching and listening to this video. While we're listening to the golden singing bell, I'll just describe what's in the background. We've got some Amazonite generators on either side of that candle holder, which is fluorite, rainbow fluorite. And then that fabulous large piece in the background is smoky quartz, a very large, very heavy smoky quartz, very amazing smoky quartz. So if you you are new to Pick a Stack Wednesday, here's how we play. Your mission is to think of an idea, an issue, or a question about yourself, a loved one, your family, your community, the world, and then to select a stack. There's three stacks here. Stack one, stack two, stack three. Each stack contains an oracle card, two tarot cards from two different decks and a crystal. You can choose one stack, you can choose two stacks, or you can choose all three stacks. I highly recommend everybody listen to the whole video because sometimes we choose one stack and another stack has another message for us. Um, and I don't want you to miss that. There's no rules here. You make the rules. So whatever you want to do, I'm fine with that. All right, let's get started. So if you chose stack number one, your crystal or stone is pink tourmaline. There you see the chunks of pink tourmaline in there. This vibrates within both the heart chakra and the higher heart chakra or thymus chakra. Like most heart-based stones, this crystal brings an influx of love, joy, and happiness into your life. It's high in lithium, which is known to help emotional and mood-related problems. Meditate, mm, I can't talk today. Meditating with pink tourmaline can help you lift your spirits, bring back your passion for living, and relieve stress. It is also one of the most loving stones for children. It can provide loving comfort, help with sleeping issues, and is particularly useful for spiritually sensitive indigo children for its calming and centering qualities. I would also like to add that it's good for um, ADHD, um, Alzheimer's, um, anxiety, any of those type issues. Those are low frequency issues and this is going to have a high frequency. It's going to have a love frequency, which, you know, is much better than those low frequencies. So that is pink tourmaline. So your first card is from the Spirit Song Tarot and it is a major arcana card. It's the wheel. And it's represented by this octopus. And you're, ooh, look at this. Your second card is the Magician from the Druid Craft Tarot deck. So you've got two major arcana cards. One and ten. So we've got one, zero, and one. So we've got a duplicate of ones. One is about new beginnings. It's about manifesting new things, a new world, a new something in your life. Um, very powerful, you know, to get two major arcana cards from two different decks. That's very powerful. And these are messages from the universe. So basically what this is telling us is you have the power. Do you know who you are? You have the power. And there's, there's, 
it's not that change is coming for you. It's that you are bringing about the change. You are manifesting the change. You are attracting the change. That's what this combination is saying to me right now. You bring your change. So what do you want to change in your life? Because now is the time to manifest that. So that means go meditate, set up a little, um, like, you know, like a change altar, whatever you want to call it, some little space where maybe you have pictures of what you want. Maybe it's a new house. Maybe it's a job. Maybe it's, you know, you want all the stuff in the outside world to change for the better, whatever it is. Um, you have the power to change it because we create our own worlds. And so even though we're part of this larger world, we have this little microcosm that we create. So for example, in my home, I can either make it be filled with love and beauty and high frequency, or I can make my home be filled with anger and resentment and guilt and blame and, you know, the, I call it the yucky lower energy emotions. It's, we create our world. We attract the people that um, resonate with our frequency. So if we have a low frequency, we're going to attract low frequency people. If we have a high frequency, we're going to attract high frequency people. So this is all about you manifesting the changes in your life that you want, that you need, but also that you want. Whatever that, that thing is that you want, get on it. Now's your time. It's your turn. Okay. And I, I had to laugh because when I first saw this octopus, um, my, my thought was it has eight arms. It can multitask like nobody's business. And you might need that um, for this manifesting. But also remember, you've got all the tools that you need. You know, you've got your magic wand. You've got your sword and your, your, your pentacle and your cup. You've got everything at your disposal that you need. And you got eight arms. So you got that going for you, which is nice. Your third card, the Oracle card, is from the Secret Language of Light deck. And look at this beautiful picture. You've got a heart in the background with wings, and then you've got this beautiful sword. So let's see what card number 14, Alignment, says. covenant of mind, body, and spirit. Your soul is your biggest fan. It knows the truth of you and loves you unconditionally. It is continuously streaming this information to you. To tune in, your mind, body, and spirit must all agree in the now. Do this by meditating, focusing on your soul name, enjoying something you love, or having a nap. It is not up to your soul to zap you into alignment. Its job is to maintain your soul station so you have a frequency to tune into. The nature of physical life is to create and expand. Sometimes life experiences will pull you out of alignment so you can understand these experiences from a different angle. Oh, I like the sound of that. When you are out of alignment, you will automatically ask questions and want to create something different. Through this process, you gain clarity about your passions. Being out of alignment can feel awful. It is easy to blame a person or situation when we feel bad, but instead of asking why something is happening, take a breath, return to neutral, and ask what you can create from the situation. And remember, your soul is a consistent, loving home you can return to always. That is beautiful. So when you are manifesting this change and, and attracting this change to you, make sure that you are in alignment with your soul. Your soul knows what you need. And I'm also supposed to remind everybody that um, <laughs> don't resist. So if something's coming at you, don't resist it. In a lot of martial arts, they teach that 
when an attacker is coming towards you, you use their momentum against them. So instead of trying to go forward into them, you let them come towards you and then you allow them the opportunity to keep going in the direction that they've been going. Only, you know, maybe hitting the ground. So don't resist. This is the time when we allow. You want to manifest something. So then when it comes to you, you got to allow it to, to come to you. And it's okay to ask for affirmations, but, you know, asking for one affirmation is good. Eight of them, you know, your spirit guides are going to just smack you upside the head. I know they've done that to me in the past. <laughs> Voice of experience. All right. If you chose stack number two, your stone is prenite. There we go. It looks kind of gray um, right now, but it's actually a really pretty green. This is a stone of unconditional love. It enhances inner knowledge, showing the path forward to spiritual growth, to attunement to divine energy. It connects the will and the heart. It can strengthen intuition and truth recognition, and we all need that right now. Used as a stone of vision, it works well during meditation to access higher levels of awareness, stimulating the third eye chakra. It is a very protective stone on all levels, strengthening the life force and easing worries and restlessness. It can aid spirit communication through meditation or visualization, out-of-body travel, and it is a powerful dream stone. Also known as a stone of prophecy, which stimulates inner knowing. Healers can use it for the kidneys, bladder, thymus gland, shoulders, chest, lungs, gout, and anemia. Plus, it's really pretty. All right, let's see what your stack holds in store for you. Your first card is from the Spirit Song Tarot deck. And it is the Queen of Acorns. I love this beautiful card. You got the sun in the background. You have this beautiful animal, very feminine. The Queen of Acorns is also the Queen of Fire or the Queen of Wands. This is passion. This is, it doesn't have to be a woman. This is, this is a title. Um, but the Queen of Acorns, she's been there, done that. And she can help others now. And you have, with that, from the Druid Craft Tarot, you have the Prince of Pentacles. The, this is the slowest moving prince. Um, he is a messenger. Um, as you can tell, he's sitting on his horse and his horse is standing still. The horse doesn't even look like it's ready to go. He doesn't look like he's ready to go either. He's standing there with a sword on the, the back of the horse in a very restful position. But if you look at his eyes, he is watching. He is ready to move when he needs to, but right now he's resting. So you've got the Queen of Fire and you've got the Prince of Earth. This can have, now this is a general reading, um, but this can have several meanings. Um, it's time to rest, but be ready to go because stuff's going to happen. Um, or it can mean someone is coming in with a message for you, but um, it won't happen very fast. So just be patient. This is like a patience card. But then you've got the queen of acorns or the queen of fire. She's the get her done queen. Um, she is she, kind of like the octopus in stack number one. She is a multitasker. She's getting stuff done. She is taking a leadership role, um, whether it's you know, with family or friends or community, um, this is, you know what? It's time to get stuff done. And it's interesting because this is how I've been feeling lately. 
Like, I don't have a lot of time. I need to hurry up and get a bunch of stuff done because I'm going to be so busy later that I'm not going to be able to do these things later. That's how I feel. And that's how this card makes me feel personally. Um, and while I'm getting all these things done, <laughs> okay, my guides just gave me something. While I'm getting all this stuff done, I don't have to worry about being patient because I'm being distracted. <laughs> So, so I'm not concentrating on, well, who's the messenger? Well, what's the message going to be? Yeah, don't worry about it. It'll happen when it happens. Okay. In the meantime, whatever it is you need to get done, that's what you need to be working on. And this can be <clears throat> plotting, planning, um, dreaming, um, cleaning your basement, um, setting things up for the holidays, whatever it is for you. But this is, you know what? You're the queen of fire. So this is the, 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 the card of we are getting things done. Not, not even we're going to get things done, but we are getting things done because she is the multitasker. <clears throat> and, and the, and the leader and so whatever this is all about, um, you know, you can be resting. It's so funny because this is, this is, this is resting and this is get her done. Patience. But you remember his eyes. He's being very wary. I keep getting drawn to the eyes. Like pay attention to stuff going on out there. But don't, don't worry about it. Don't take it into your heart. Just have patience. Okay, just have patience. Look at the horse. The horse is just chill. The dude's behind his shield. And it's a really good time to have a shield up, everybody. We don't want to feel other people's energies. Now, this applies to not just people, but also animals. So, for example, my dog Althea, um, she absorbs other people's energy. And every day I have to clean her off of other people's energy several times a day, every day. So, you know... This horse may look like it's just standing still here, but the horse is feeling this guy's energy. And if he's being wary, that means the horse is feeling that. So I, my guides just want me to point that out, that your, your pets right now are feeling all the energies of the people on the planet. So if you could be, um, just just be aware that if your dog or cat or horse or whatever animal is acting a little different, that's because the people are. And do what you can to be soothing and calming for them. So that is that. Thank you, Spirit Guides, for giving me that. Your Oracle card is from the Secret Language of Light, and you get Whispers. Card number 12. So let's see what the book says about card number 12. 12 is a 3... Tune into your soul voice. Your mind and heart are expanding to hear your soul whispers. You are, or will soon, find it easier to interpret and understand the vibes of your soul through how you feel. Open the door to soul whispers by feeling appreciative. Close the door by feeling judgmental. The messages are always there, even if you are not receiving them. And I'd like to point out, too, that the messages have always been there. Sometimes people say, you know, I never get messages from my spirit guides or my grandmother or my higher self. Well, they're sending them. It's just a matter of, are you open to receiving them? Practice feeling soul vibes to clarify your intuition and psychic senses. Just like we know a dog can hear sounds that we can't, your intuition interprets waves and impulses outside of your conscious awareness. This card is also prompting you to take notice of your dreams. When you are asleep, you cease conscious thought and resistance, making it easier for you to receive soul transmissions. If you embrace the messages that come through your dreams, you will invite more of the same. If you don't like a dream, see it as a sign to shift your focus or change a belief. 
One of the things that you can do is before you go to sleep at night, set an intention. Set an intention to receive soul messages. Set an intention to receive positive dreams. You know, set an intention, period. If you're just having nightmares all night long, well, stop concentrating on the nightmares. Set your intention or do a prayer <clears throat> for only positive images and messages. Set your intention that angels and archangels who work with the light are guiding, guarding, and protecting you while you sleep. So set your intention and then you make a change. That is stack number two. If you chose stack number three, your crystal is hematoid quartz. This is also known as harlequin quartz. And it contains the amplification properties of quartz and the stability of hematite. It is highly energetic, can assist with removing negativity, and transform lower frequency energies into higher frequency energies. This combination can balance your mind and spirit, bring clarity, and help you understand your emotional state. It can assist you with self-worth and self-esteem issues. It can also enhance focus and concentration and is especially helpful for those with ADHD. That's funny because I was talking about that earlier with the pink tourmaline. It can be used to calm anxiety, panic attacks, and hysteria. Physically, it can be used to assist with blood disorders, balance the chakras, boost the immune system. So in other words, everybody should be carrying one of these. Stimulate healing, strengthen liver and kidney functions, and cleanse toxins. Plus, it's just really pretty. So it has quartz properties. It can look like clear quartz. It can look like citrine. Um, and then it's got some dark spots in there for the, the hematite. So that is your crystal. And your first card is from the Spirit Song Tarot deck. And it is the Page of Shells, which is the Page of Water or the Page of Cups. And it is represented by this fabulous little frog. Your second card is from the Druid Craft Tarot, and you get the Strength card. This is a major arcana. So the, it's, that's interesting. We had the, a lot of major arcanas today, um, and we had a page in stack two and a page in stack, well, yeah, stack three. Um, so the page is the messenger, and this is bringing a message that is emotional. Because this water represents emotions. So I feel like you're going to be given some kind of a message that will make you emotional. Now, this is a general reading. So for some of you, that could be emotionally yay. And for some of you, it could be emotionally sad. But there is a message coming to you that will evoke emotions in you. But then you've got this card, which is the strength card. And this is all about whatever comes your way, you've got this. You are strong enough to handle it. So if this is something great like a new job coming to you, you've got the strength for it. Don't worry that you're not up to the task. If this is someone's passing, then don't worry about it. You've got the strength to get through it. We all have the strength to get through everything because think about all the things we've gone through in our lifetimes and we're still here. We're still here. So whatever's coming our way, we can get through that too. So whatever this is, whether it's happiness and joy or it's something else, 
you can handle it. Now, I don't want you guys to start freaking out and go, oh, Barbara said something bad's going to happen to me. No, this is not what I'm saying. In these very tumultuous, chaotic times, there's things happening, you know, and the, the deal with this is whatever's going on, you are strong and you can handle it. Now, this is represented by a woman. It does not have to be a woman. Um, if you're a guy, then you just put your face on her body, you know, <laughs> that'll make you laugh. Um, but just know that you've got everything that you need inside of you to get through today and tomorrow and next week and next month and everything that follows after that. So you've got this messenger. It probably won't be a frog, but you know, it could be if somebody comes up to you wearing a frog sweatshirt, well, you know, pay attention, but this is the strength card. This is a very, very powerful card. This is a, uh, this is major arcana. This is a message from the universe. You've got this. Okay. I love the colors. She's represented by gold and red. Those are very powerful colors. Red is, you know, the passion color. So let's see what your Oracle card says. Manifestation. Look at that. That golden ray. That is card number 25, which is a seven. Let's see what the book says about <clears throat> manifestation. You will attract what you give your focus to. You are about to experience something you've longed for. You may not see any evidence yet, but don't be disheartened. Instead, be still and align with your soul. Soon you will be inspired to take a step forward where you will meet your dreams and desires. Fall in love with the unknown and the path of the known will materialize. I'm going to say that again. Fall in love with the unknown and the path of the known will materialize. You create your life through how you feel and what you think. When you change your beliefs, your life changes to match it. First, you must be aware of how you feel in the present. Practice focusing on what makes your heart sing, not shrink. The time just before manifestation is an opportunity to change any story from your past, present, or future. Your perception is altering, so you can see in a new light. Everything is created twice. First, in the vibrational realm, perceived as imagination, feeling, or dreaming, and then in the physical world as manifested objects. Enjoy the journey to all you are manifesting and your desires will arrive sooner. This is the nature of creation. So that just goes right along with those, those first two cards um, that whatever's coming, you've got the strength to do it. But it, also, whatever you want to manifest, you've got the strength or the power to do that as well. You are not a victim. None of us is a victim. Things do not just happen to us. They happen for reasons. So pay attention to how you think, how you feel, and the words that come out of your mouth. Because we are all magnets and we attract what we are. So if you feel like you're a victim, you are going to attract situations that enhance that, that amplify that. So instead, no, you are that strength card. I got this. I'm going to face that wild lion. And then when you face the wild lion, the lion disappears or becomes tame. So that is stack number three. Face your fears. Face your fears. You've got this. And there's so many more amazing things coming for each one of us. Just have faith and manifest all good things. Because remember, you deserve them and you are worthy. So 
I am sending you blessings of love, light, peace, joy, happiness, success, and divine health, and all good things, because you are worthy and you deserve them. Have a blessed day, my beautiful soul family. I love you. You'll see me soon.